Have you realized that the most powerful thing in the world today, something that even salvation from God did not alter, is your ability to think. Even salvation, you are born again, right? But you are born again did not alter your thinking process. You are allowed to do something about your thinking by yourself. It didn't alter. So, Jesus washed your sins, but did not wash your brains. He didn't wash your brains. You used to ride bicycle before you were born again. Now that you are born again, you can still ride bicycle. Huh? You used to drive car before you got born again. Now that you are born again, the new things that came did not affect your ability to drive a car. So he washed your sins. He didn't wash your brain. Allows you to remold your brain by his word. He left your mind for you so you can use it. He wants to use your mind by his spirit. So if you leave your mind to, to embrace thought patterns that are not in the spirit, you will become worldly. If you leave your mind to embrace thought patterns that are not in the spirit of God, you will become a worldly person. So the battle is not inside. The battle we have is with things that come from outside. The battle is not inside you. The battle is with things that are bombarding you from the environment. Television, music, people's talk, things you read, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Things are bombarding your mind. That is where you win or lose your walk in the spirit. If you are not careful, if you pay attention too much to Facebook, you will soon be a junky Christian. You'll be full of junk. You'll be so full of junk that it will never look like you were born again. Because social media has a lot of trash human beings in their numbers. The most jobless people on earth live there. And jobless people are creators of nonsense. And where you spend more time, you begin to pick up habits. It's a very wonderful tool, but at the same time, very devastating. I'm teaching good tonight. Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the wells bring the forces the influences and the issues of life i'm reading from different translations the issues the forces the influences the wellspring of life comes out of your heart how do you guard your heart your heart will not produce evil because your heart has the spirit of god so it will produce evil if you allow evil in. So what corrupts comes from outside information. So how do you guard your heart? Eye gate, ear gate, mouth gate. Those gates are the access to the heart of man. That determines the production in a man's life. They determine the production in a man's life. Stay with me. I'm, I'm almost done. Guard your heart. Proverbs 4.23. Guard your heart. Protect your heart by protecting your eyes and protecting your ears and protecting your mouth.